Hey guys, so you here with another video for Blender. This one we're gonna be talking about sub D and bullions. Just a quick one before we start, guys. We have a Patreon as Blender Bros. This month on May, we got an amazing robotic arm tutorial as well as industrial portfolio quality render tutorial and a really cool decal pack with 2K bounce light baked in. Uh, so the quality of the reflections of the lights on on the surface of the decals is just insane so check it out link in the video description now let's just grab a plane very quickly and let's just extrude it on x and maybe drop it down maybe extrude it a bit more and uh, i think we're just gonna go one way only so extrude it a bit more on x and drop it down okay cool and uh, we're gonna grab this edge and extrude it on Y and scale it and drop it down and maybe bring it a bit up. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna mirror it to the other side with Mesh Machine, Alt X and boom. And I'm gonna remove this one from the middle. Oh, in fact, you know what? I'm just gonna add uh, loops here. So we got something like this, right? And I'm gonna run Control 3 on it so it's, you know, it's subdivided. And now we could actually run some uh, supporting loops here so one here and one here and one here and just you know mirror to the other side so symmetrize it cool so we got something like this all right awesome let's just shade it smooth and uh, we're good to go okay so now let's uh, solidify this okay so i'm gonna go to modifier with hard ops and simply solidify this down uh peachy and we need to change the order of modifiers, so we're going to go to operations and modifier scroll, shift this solidify up above with shift, okay. So now let's um, let's apply this, right, so control A and uh, let's visual to mesh. So we got this kind of a thing going on, right. And now we're going to slice a boolean in, you know, through it somewhere here, okay. So let's go to top view, okay, and let's just grab a box cutter and uh, let's just grab a box cut, maybe in shift V in, up, in view mode, drop it somewhere here, through it, right, and shift to live, go to side view and rotate it a bit so it's a bit better positioned, right, and go to the top view, let's see this from the front maybe. Right, so let's just, you know, let's just position it so it's nicely uh, kind of following the the normals. And you know what, we can actually bevel this uh, like this, okay, just for fun, right? To make it a bit more complicated, all right? Now what we need to do is uh, check if the, uh, the wireframe um, of this one is not colliding with edges here, okay? So what I mean is that when you boolean something like this you don't want uh, edges to overlap because it's gonna be a bit difficult to clean it up okay because we will need to clean it up just a little bit what i would do is simply switch here the uh shading to i would simply go wireframe here on this one and now we can see what's going on right so um this one is fine see like i could actually move this a little bit uh, a little bit to the front so gx move it a bit to the front so it's kind of there's a distance here and there's a distance here. Uh, this one can't be helped basically, but what we could do, we could rotate it a little bit like this, you know, maybe, right? And bring it a little bit this way, okay? So it's kind of in between uh, these two edges, all right? See what I mean? All right, this, this will do, this will do, it's not bad. Okay, cool. So um, let's just, you know, um, shade it normal and shift 2 to remove the cutter grab this one control a visual to mesh and now we got this mess right so the shading doesn't look too bad right at the moment but um it will start breaking when we're gonna adding bevels okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean it up a bit okay so let's clean it up all right so uh, let's connect this one here okay and this one could be connected here this one could be connected here, okay? And this one could be connected here. And we don't really need these, right? So we can just, you know, dissolve them. This one's gonna be tricky. Uh, this one probably has to go. Uh, this one's gonna be better in here, though. This is probably a bad idea to have such a steep angle running in here. So I might actually dissolve this one. 
and do something like this instead okay see what i mean that's much better and move this one here so it follows the flow this one here is gonna be better this one should be here this one should be here and this one is fine and here we're gonna do something like this and like this cool we're done so now watch this what i'm gonna do right is i'm going to select the face here go to select and we're gonna go to select linked and select flat faces open this menu you can press f9 as well and expand it until uh, the entire um, space around it is selected and then i'm going to insert it okay so i'm going to press i to insert it and i'm going to insert it just a little bit okay so it's kind of in between these edges here if it's too dense you can remove them and now what i can do right is i can run the uh, control 2 or sub d on it and of course we need to fix this one as well here so we're going to uh, fix this one here in the middle as well okay so here and insert it and boom right and then the bottom you do the same way just before you do that you need to uh, you need to clean these edges right so i'm not going to be doing this because it's the same thing as on the top but if you look at the top right we got a nice bevel going on because of the sub d right but the shading is perfect so let me just show you uh on the mud cup with mesh machine mud cup mm, you can see that the shading is really nice see this shadow here passing really cleanly through it it's really clean so you can have you know perfect shading or near perfect shading with bullions and sub d now if you get some ridges like this you know this kind of an issue uh, you simply have to go higher on subdivision so we went to control 2 so just go control 3 and boom it's gone right so you just simply need a bit more subdivision on these ones right this is going to be an extremely dense mesh after you apply this but you know if you want something really smooth that's the way to go about it this issue here is caused by the bottom most likely because the bottom isn't fixed so it kind of pinches here uh, so you know you might want to fix that in the bottom as well all right guys well uh, that's it for this video hope you enjoyed it give us a like and sub if you did and uh, links to all the add-ons are in the video description thanks for watching catch you next one